Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. Welcome to another edition of Hometown Heroes on Family Life. I'm your host, Bill Price. Our guest this week, Shauna Hakes from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. After losing her husband to lung cancer four years ago, she now helps other women cope with life after death. A Widow's Might is um, mostly an online ministry. It was started back in 2008 by two women who became widows themselves, and they saw the need for a ministry to widows. Mm -hmm. I found them shortly after my husband passed, and I was in the throes of the Shadow Valley, as I call it. It's an online ministry in which women can come to hear stories, read stories of other widows who have walked the same path that they're in the middle of walking right Mm -hmm. now. All of the members of the ministry are widows themselves. Some have already remarried, but you never forget the pain that you've, that you've yeah. gone through. You're listening to Hometown Heroes on Family Life. Our guest this week is Shauna Hakes from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. She's with the ministry called A Widow's Might. And um, if, if you could, Shauna, share with us the biggest thing that your grief has taught you and that you've been able to share with other women who are going through the same trials as you are. I would say the biggest thing that I have learned is that I am not alone. That is the one thing that widowhood will teach, will try to show you is that you're all alone. And you do, you feel very much alone. And your friends and family, as much as they love you and want to support you and can even do it well at times, there's times when they either just can't be there, it's the middle of the night, you're crying and you don't even know, have words to even say what, what's in your heart. What I found was that my God was always there. I leaned on Him in ways that I had never leaned on Him before, and I leaned on Him pretty hard at times. He met me at times when I was pretty low, and I didn't think I could go on anymore. And that has created a relationship with my Heavenly Father like I have never had before. You have kids, and that impacts them as well. Part of losing a husband, losing a spouse, It creates change in so many ways. And for me, it created change in our family in the sense that I lost not only my husband, but when he died, through the process of him being sick and and his death, my three stepchildren have walked away from our relationship. We call them secondary losses when relationships change. And there's a lot of factors to why those relationships change. Uh, Have you thought about remarrying or is that not even in your thoughts right now? Of course, when my husband first died, it was like, no, this is not, this is not even possible. Mm -hmm. He was the love of my life. Four years out from it now, I'm getting a little closer to maybe. You're helping a lot of people online with this uh, ministry called A Widow's Might. Uh, We have a lot of listeners, uh, Shauna, who are going through similar situations, um, (laughs) whether it be a a man or a woman who's lost a spouse. What's your message to that person right now? You are not alone. Your biggest advocate will always be our Heavenly Father. Run to Him. Run as hard and as fast as you can. Read His Word. Be in His Word. Be in communication with Him through prayer. The other message is, it's okay to grieve. It's okay to cry. And it's it's even okay to be angry at God. Just don't stay there. And don't let anybody tell you when it's time to stop grieving, because we all grieve in different ways. And it may take you longer than someone else. There's no time limit for it. There is no time limit to it. That's Shauna Hakes from Williamsport, Pennsylvania, this week's Hometown Hero. Join us next week as we search for your home, your town, your hero. It's Hometown Heroes on Family Life.